Alphabet Academy Kindergartners. I hope you all are doing well and having a lot of great times and adventures with your family. Today I am going to read a book called Brachiosaurus. This is a book that we read during one of our afternoon story times and I know the kindergartners love dinosaurs so much. So I'm going to read it today and then you can listen to the story anytime you want on YouTube. So here we go. I have a friend. He is very, very large. He can weigh up to 99,000 pounds or 45,000 kilograms. He is very tall, much taller than a skyscraper. A skyscraper is a very, very tall building, just like these. So you may see a lot of these in big cities like New York City. He has a really long tail, but it isn't a slide. He eats lots and lots of grass. He eats more grass than 20 cows put together. That is a lot of grass. If I had to make clothes for him, you would need a lot of cloth and thread. And it takes my grandmother a whole winter to knit him a good scarf. He is closer to the stars and the moon than we are. And he is lucky enough to have his head above the clouds. If you have to wash him, don't try to put him in the bath in your house. He won't fit. You'll have to build a special bath just for him. Huh, I wonder what the child is using to give this big dinosaur a bath. I wonder what that is. Can you guess? He's using a swimming pool. Whoa. If his head itches, you'll find it difficult to help him unless you have a ladder as high as the fireman's. So it looks like the child went in the ladder, went to the top, so he could help out the dinosaur and itch its head. When the school bus breaks down, it's great because my friend can take us. Also, this is something that we did during our afternoon story time. We counted to see how many children can fit on top of the dinosaur. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight kids. Hmm, do you think that all of the kindergartners could fit on the dinosaur? Where would the other kindergartners go? Hmm. He won't fit into my house or those of my friends.
it's also very hard for him to find a chair that's the right size for him. Huh, what happened when he tried to sit in the chair? It broke. Do you know who my friend is? Hmm, can you make a guess? What kind of dinosaur is this in the book? I'll go back and show you. Hmm, what is the name of this dinosaur? If you guessed Brachiosaurus, you are correct. It is a Brachiosaurus. The Brachiosaurus that sleeps with me every night. Good night. Oh, the end. And you know, kindergarten, there is actually a section here that shows all the different parts of the Brachiosaurus. Let's read about it. So it has a nose on the top of its head. It has a small curved head. It has a very long neck, kind of like a giraffe. Its back was curved also. It has a very large long tail and its front legs were longer than its back legs. It was the only dinosaur that had legs like these. Oh. I learned some new things about the Brachiosaurus, did you? And that is the end of our story. Kindergarten, thank you so much for joining me for our story. I was so happy to read to you today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.